Hello, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, squirrels and nuts of all ages. Welcome back to Feeding the Wolf with your host here. Oh, come on, go. What the heck is... Oh, yeah. I have my goggles of revealing on, which I didn't kind of mean to be wearing, but okay. All right. I've put this off long enough. Dun -dun -dun -dun. We're going to go play it around with Mistcraft today. Okay, so we have the writing desk, which I have some notebooks, some paper, paper. I made some water bottles because with water bottles, you put water and two ink sacks. You get an ink vial. So let's get our ink underway. I can hear my boys going hard at work. That means I can make four pages. I can copy four. So I need sun, moon, terrain, and something else. Hmm, single biome. Single biome, biome, sun, moon, right? Sun, moon, sky. Dang, we need to find more ink. Well, let me show you what let me let me show you what's going on. First thing, they changed up a little bit. Okay, the writing desk for Miscraft is still the same. It's still you know the the um, simple. There we go. Writing desk, which is this one down here. The planks with the glass bottle and a feather get you the writing desk, which looks like this, which when you place it down looks like that. Now there's this new thing, a book binder. The book binder, as you see it right here, it's real easy to make too. It's planks with three iron ingots on top. Woohoo! And that makes it fun for all of us. Oh, and as you see, I've made more canvas bags. Um, just to let you guys know, the mob spawner thing I was working on downstairs, I had to disassemble. Well, I had to take the mobs out of it because they were spawning so quickly that... Um, I, I couldn't keep up, and it was lagging me to the point where I was having problems moving. So, you guys hopefully remember standard standard linking books. You know, see, I take this, boom, I have a linking book that will put me right back here, facing that direction, whenever I click on this linking book. So, this is my OMG, I Gotta Get Back Home book. Um, junk equipment. Okay, in the equipment goes the steak and popcorn. Uh, in junk, I'm going to put the paper. He's coming down here. Let's straighten you guys up. Now, for the new stuff, I'm sorry, misclicking like a madman. Oh, wait, I already made that book. Now, see, with the book binding, you need leather in here to, well, bind the books. So if we put paper up here, random blank piece of paper, we will get a random blank descriptive book. See, and then we throw it down, age 52. You give it a click, you see where you're gonna go. Um, it takes usually a couple of seconds to load up. I, do, I have noticed that the loading speed for these new worlds is considerably quicker. Oh, that's not good. Wow, can you guys hear all that? That is crazy. Oh, oh, no, no, we're on fire. Bye-bye. Later. We're out. Okay, all right. Whew, okay. Now, you see that because I didn't have that book linked to me, because it takes a stack of diamonds. It, oh, excuse me. It takes eight diamond blocks. Each one's nine. That's more than a stack of diamonds to make the linking device. And uh, no, just, just no. So book 52. See, normally we'd scroll up here and it would tell us all the symbols, but not anymore. Now we can take... Nope, wrong one. Take it over to here, and we can throw it in there. Still doesn't tell us the symbols. But you know what you can do? You can open it up and leaf through the pages. Which, it's not giving us diddly and or squat. 
Now, I know there's a way to look at this. And I don't remember off the top of my bloody head how to do it. No, I meant that. Age 52, blank page. Huh. All right, well, whatever. It goes in the junk box with all the other ones, including two different mining worlds. Because my old mining world is now, with the new system, completely corrupt. And falling apart around me, you know, quicker than you can say tiddlywinks. Well, you did notice I already have one with a lot of symbols already. This is from me running around different you know what let's let's go check out one more random world random world let's get our omg got to get back home book um, place whoop you there make you here notebook will go in there and we're off I could while away the hours just counting all the flowers and sorting each by name. All right, what do we got now? Well, it's dark. And you see, I try to keep, oh, just blindness. And according to the mini-map, there is Diddle and or Squat out here. But it's saying there's land over here. What's this? I see, oh, snow. All right, well, um, uh, da, 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 ha, ha, I found it. Negatory, we're just going back home. That, that was a complete and incredible waste of your time, my time. I do apologize. So now let's grab that blank notebook we had and put it in here now what we need to do is I made I put him in the junk bag didn't I I did uh, da, 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 da. okay so we got plenty of pages up there I don't know why I grabbed more paper but we need to put ink up in there oh there oh wow that makes a lot of ink oh that makes me a little bit happier so now okay let's see let's go i'm gonna want the zero all right there's zero length so we put that in there then from zero length uh because i already kind of have what i want which is going to be um oh look it didn't take that much ink at all that is awesome. T tiled biomes, tendrils, tendrils, tiled taiga, swampland, sunset color. Well, if I do this right, we're not going to have a sunset. Stars, Fisher stronghold, standard lighting. You know what? Let's get a standard lighting. So we have zero length, standard lighting. Um... Small biomes. I don't want small. I definitely do not want skylands. All right, we're going to need sky color. See, I've now added sky color. Because single biome. That's the page I want. Uh, shrubland. Red. Do we want a red, sk red sky? Rising savanna. Savanna? I'd rather find plains. Red sky. Ravines. Hmm, pine forest, ocean, overcast, obelisks. I'm sorry, guys, at uh, normal sun. Hmm. Now, I don't want normal sun, and I really would have would prefer no weather, but well, I, I haven't found no weather. So, I got normal weather. Normal sun, normal moon. Noon. That's the way I, one I want. Because I'm going to want noon, zero length. That means the sun's not going to move. It's going to be daytime all the time. 
M N O P. So we went through L M N O P. P P pine. No plains. I had thought I had found a plains biome. Dang. So I've grabbed single biome, didn't I? So I wonder what happens. Single jungle? We don't want a jungle biome for huge trees. Green swamp. Huge green. We still need to pick our sky color too. Great gradient sky. I we're gonna make our sky gradient. There we go. Wow, I have full length. Glow glowstone crystals, baby. I didn't know I had that. Frozen river frosted. All right. Remember, the more rare things you put. Oh, flat. Let's see if we can add flat. Now, remember, I haven't done this before. And the one I have done was, like I said, a complete and co just complete and total uh, catastrophe. Dark moon. Dark cloud color. Clear modifiers. Caves. Blue, blue sky. I already put gradient, didn't I? wonder if I can pull that blue out. Blue, black. Oh, and we're up here at the top. Now, I don't think... Autumn, birch. We... Did I find a biome I liked? You know, there's another modifier I'd really like to see if I found. W. Water, void. Uh, no villages. So we haven't found the villages page yet either. All right, so that's something else I'm going to want to keep an eye out for. I'm going with the savannah. Okay, so we now have a uh, test book. A uh, wow, A L P Al Al A L P H A L P H A test book alpha. Now, Testbook Alpha right now is out of order. So we need to get things in order. Can I pull that out? Yeah. All right. Zero length. So we're going to put it flat. Sky color of... So we'll go gradient. Gradient. Sky color. Flat. Single biome. Savannah, so single biome, savannah, normal weather, normal moon, noon, noon zero length, glowstone crystals, okay, so we'll put that back in there, middle click to sort, all right, now we got to get our OMG return book set up. Oh, no, not you. Let's put all this back in there. And since this is going to be this, put... Oh, I need to bookbind it. Test... Book A L P H A Test Book Alpha has been made. There we go. Let's put the notebook for Test Book Alpha in there. Let's because I always do it in this spot for no particular reason. And I like having this right there because when you spawn into a place, it automatically sets you to one. And this way, all I have to do is roll my mouse up one spot to get to the book. Test book alpha. Here we go. Incoming. Here we go. Whoa. Poison. We're poisoned. 
We are poisoned in an awesome world. Really? So there were some instabilities with that world. I wonder how long I'm going to be poisoned for. Do I have... Man, that was just not the funnest thing in the history of mankind at all. <sighs> well, we got some more flowers out of that. Woohoo! So that means the book that we put down there, too, is probably currently on fire. Um, I had a guano load, which is a lot, of buckets. Mm, which way am I facing? The wrong way. The wrong way at the wrong time. The lips are charming, but they're the wrong lips. All right. Ha. Ah. Mm. Wow, can I really just fill up an entire stack of buckets with one cow? All right, well, milk gets rid of poisons. So does the quantum helmet, which probably means it's a good time to start. Um, <laughs> good time to start working on uh, pick you up before you go to waste. Wow, neat looking world. So my gradient Noon, eternal noon world did not turn out to be gradient, nor eternally noon. Wow, I've got me a lot of milk. And usually hiding under cover in strange worlds. Let's see if we can see anything on the map. Aha, I know what that is. All right, we're going to make a run for it. There it is. Dun, 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 dun. Doo -doo -doo, doo -doo -doo. You guys see this building? This is now a unique building with um, Mistcraft. Don't you like how my noon eternal day plans backfired? Luck. More pages. We uh mountain mushroom biome. Biome. Let's put you in here. Matter of fact, let's get the junk open. Put all of this in there we'll keep a couple out which one's this tendrils starfishers all right east interesting single biome got that again okay now be sure to check there and there haha -ha, see there it is there's a hidden chest so we got dark sun lush red woods nether brick and birch forest biome and then we collect us some books well I was kinda hoping this would be my new mining world but as we see Uncle Mongo made some mistakes and that's not good at all so once we collect up all of these wonderful books which is I don't know if you guys noticed when I opened that box. I have a lot of books in there. See, I've been making worlds, running around, and looking for these things. I spent like three hours the other day watching videos. And while I was watching the videos, I just ran around and looked for... Um, well, looked for these things. It's quite a, quite nice, actually. I, I found a lot in a pretty small amount of time. So let's check that map again. Do we see any more of these cool square buildings and not those weird trees? No, but I do see something off in this direction. So let's see if we can make it over there. Oh, yep, that's what I thought that was. Now this, finding these structures here are how I got my, uh, dang, I kind of wish I had my um, uh, doohickeys on me. See? Ooh, my, uh... See, in there is going to be a zombie spawner, a skeleton spawner, and that node. Which, that node is huge. And mean. And spawns wisps occasionally. Oh, like there. It just spawned a wisp. 
Oh, hey, look, the sun's coming up. You know, I haven't suffered any more poison, which is probably right about the time I'm going to get poisoned. Oh, that's what those obelisks are. They've got nodes on top of them. Well, that sure is dandy is interesting. Huh. All right, do we see anything else? Out here in the wilds of the plains. Oh, there's another one of those. Or is that the one I just came from? It's probably the one I just came from, huh? Zoom out. Alright, well. Guys, this is Uncle Mongo. I hope you enjoyed my little tour through Mistcraft. Um, huh, they need to give us gloves. Yeah, I love the goggles. Alright, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, remember... Feedback is appreciated. I've gotten a lot of feedback from you guys saying my voice has been quiet lately. Unfortunately, normally when I record, there's people sleeping in my house. So that's a little bit of an issue now and then, but not always. All right? See something over here? So there's a dark shadow under the glowstone. Huh. All right, let's go for epic... Standing on Glowstone Statue Outro. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, squirrels and nuts of all ages, this has been Uncle Mongo feeding the wolf. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you all again next time. Bye-bye.